Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Atomic Shop, see what we got there, take a look at the daily challenges, see what we got to do in order to make some score, and also going to take a look at the daily ops. Uh, plus, I'll make uh, my today's run and show you the rewards. I'll just show you the uh, boss fight and the rewards section. And then we're going to call it the end for this video. So, uh, let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so today at the Atomic Shop we got the following items. Uh, the Shadow Prime Power Armor Skin with a 20% discount. Uh, it's a good Power Armor Skin. The discount is kind of a little bit lame. I mean, this power has been up in a while, but all Power Armor Skins had 20% discount, so I guess they just don't want to go and give us something bigger. But anyway, uh, the Power Armor is good. I would recommend buying it if you actually plan to use it like right now and for the next couple of good weeks you're going to be using just this skin. If that is not the case then I would recommend to hold off and wait for a bigger discount. Welcome Home sign is back and uh, there is a discount for that. Uh, it has an 80% discount and will cost you 140 uh, atoms according to the patch notes of the atomic shop by the way I found them the thing is what they did is they replaced the the new article with the old article and that's why the publish date was invalid and that's why I was not able to find these patch notes good job it does but anyway good thing I found them tomorrow we'll get new ones next time if I will ha will be having issues on finding the atomic shop patch notes I'm just gonna scroll through the entire catalog uh, which I did last time, but it still didn't work out for me. But anyway, that's not the point. The the welcome home sign is a pretty good sign. It glows. It's actually good looking. One of my favorite camp items, and I use it pretty much with all my camps. Uh, now let's take a look at what we got for the uh, challenges. So for the challenges daily, ooh, once again we got a lot of challenges. Sweet. Uh, so build anything in a shelter five times, build a floor or a wall decoration in a shelter, build a floor or wall in shelter. Oh my god, it's just, these are decorations, these are just walls and just floors, okay, D don't confuse these things. Uh, and, yeah, wall decoration, yeah, it's a decoration section. Uh, build more wall, floors, roofs <laughs> in a workshop or camp, uh, complete a daily operation, everybody does that, complete an event, eat pre-war food, pre-war food is all over the map, so you'll definitely get it. Personally, I recommend you could to do the Monster Mash uh, event once you see it pop in, get yourself some Halloween candies, in one event you can get 100 of those candies, uh, have them on you, they don't wait a lot, and uh, when the time comes, just use it and uh, boom, you got it done. Uh, so then we got complete daily challenges. So five of these, and this one will trigger automatic and get completed. Kill a glowing creature. Uh, kill a glowing creature, <laughs> like uh, glowing uh, super mutant dogs. Or actually, I would recommend going after the bat roaches over here in this location because I believe there is an issue with the mutant dogs. They are glowing, but for some reason they don't calculate. I would recommend to go after the cockroaches, uh, Clarksburg Shooting Club, once you appear in the location just run straight and you find the range, there should be cockroaches over there, they're glowing and they count. But be quick because there are goals and you may end up um, not finding any cockroaches. If that happens then go to the Pricket Fort and go to the top tops uh, like section and there you'll find some more co uh, glowing cockroaches. Alright, so that's we got covered. Level up one time. Okay, that's pretty easy. Nuclear winter deploy a camp. You can just, if you don't really want to play that, uh, <laughs> how I call it, the sneaky battle royale, it's where you gotta sneak and not go killing because you get more XP for surviving the longest and you get real funny XP for killing other players, which I believe it should be the opposite. Like, <laughs> because it's a battle royale, you gotta shoot, you know. <laughs> But anyway, uh, if you don't like playing Battle Royale and Nuclear Winter in general, just log into the lobby, wait for the game to load in, spawn in somewhere super far away, deploy the camp like you deploy it in the adventure mode, and just log out. Uh, visit another player's shelter, uh, find someone on the map with a shelter, 
and go to his camp and visit his shelter. And visit your shelter, that's what I just did uh, to make the intro. So that's pretty much it for the dailies. Let's see what we got for the daily ops. So the daily ops, we got the burning mine. I hate this one. Blood eagles. I love blood eagles. But not when they're camouflaged. But anyway. Let's let me do my quick daily run. This one is actually really easy for soloing. You don't have to like struggle. Like with the burrows, you need to be like super fast and you must not lose a second because the very end of the you know the dungeon, right? Those like the final group of dudes you gotta kill, they just kinda like appear in many different directions and that kinda sucks. This one is like the, the most super easiest one to do. And I'll actually show you what I'm doing here while soloing this thing. Uh, although I will do make the cutouts. So basically, you run in in order to make the uh, repair the signal, right? So you just run through this thing. If you see a melee uh, user, take him out before you start repairing because sometimes these cockroaches come swing at you and you will stop repairing, which kind of sucks. So once, I, once you have repair like that stupid dog that came out of nowhere and freaked me out. Thank God I was done doing that thing. So then you run in this location right here. Turn right. Keep running. Turn right again. Run in here. And do the thing. Boom. So once you're done with this section, I'll show you what I do next. Now it's time to defend for X amount of time. <laughs> Come on, bad dog. Alright, so once you're done with the first one, you run down this way and you turn in this little corner right here. Run, run, run. Should take you just a few seconds to get to the neck, to the side bravo. And once you get a side bravo, boom, interact with it. Uh, then I would, rec if you're doing this solo, I would not recommend looting the enemies and, like, you know, for the ammo and stuff. Do it once you're done, so you have all your time left. And this is a good hiding spot for this location over here. So, because like the more enemies you kill, the more they come back to life, right? But uh, the more of them alive, they don't come back, and they're still kind of trying to find you. You just stand here until the timer runs out. Although you will miss out on the ammo. Like, bam, you see that guy gives the ultra sight. I usually don't pick up anything on my first run because uh, I focus to get the paladin. And uh, basically, just leave the. I'll pick up the ammo at the very end. So, for example, if I were to be grinding right now, I would just kill them, and before taking a look at the results that and the rewards that I get, I would just run around the map once more and see what I uh, got in terms of loot. So yeah, um, let me get done with this one, then I'll turn it on with the boss fight. Come on. Alright, the final part is completed. You can't kill these guys. Run downstairs. This will trigger uh, that you gotta go kill stuff. I usually run straight up over, over there, just in case if there are enemies, because if this is uh, the place... Basically, the final boss appears on the other side of the map, so killing these guys faster will only benefit you f more because you get to kill these guys a lot quicker and the final guy you leave uh, for the final kill and he is standing next to the boss reappear area right so the boss should pop up right over there or in the middle over there usually he's always here here he comes once he starts shooting he makes a mistake he gets a headshot from my flamethrower and dies and I completed this thing solo six minutes of beep. 59 seconds. <laughs> no problem. Then I would recommend you to kind of like run through the place, get the loot. I mean, especially if you're using ultra side ammo, bam. But I'm just gonna skip this part and we'll get right into the reward section. I'll maybe do a little bit more a few runs later on. Not quite sure. I don't like the camouflage thing, so I'm gonna pass out today. Go like do it later all right so we got caps grenades uh, weightly secret service arm and really 
Why? <laughs> that really sucks. Very bad. Very bad. No me gusta. <laughs> I was hoping to get something good. I hate getting duplicates. Like things that I already own. Like if they're like making this thing like once a day reward thing, they could at least like make it so it happens that you don't receive duplicates at all. Because you know this minimizes your chances of getting something that you really want to really 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 low stakes which really really sucks because now I have to wait for another 24 hours to try my luck again and when am I gonna get that pistol I don't know when am I gonna get all the uh, BOS uh, armor gears like arm leg 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 arm chest helmet whatever maybe another couple of months and what the hell is wrong where the hell did these rats come out from Cockroach <laughs> and more are biting. Really? Get out of my house. This is my house. But anyway, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Stupid right. Do not forget to leave the like. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So I have from Ukraine. Feel free to leave your comments down below. Please don't swear as YouTube triggers on those comments and they're not visible to anyone. Only I can see them, I can read them, and I delete them. Have that in mind. So if you got something positive or negative to say, feel free, just don't swear. And the other thing is, if you want to join our Discord, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description. Make sure to read our rules. Other links uh, that you may find of use are also down in the video description. So once again, thanks all for watching. Y'all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys like, it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. From the ashes.